When I moved to the United States from South Africa, I arrived in New York City in 1976. I expected a lot of things to be different, but the one thing I didn't really count on, which turned out to be one of the biggest differences, was the light. In Johannesburg, which is much closer to the equator than New York City is, the days in winter were not that much shorter than the days in summer because it's closer to the equator. And when I arrived in New York City, the days were long. It was in the middle of the summer, and I seemed to have boundless energy, and it seemed like just the place to be. But after the daylight savings time change, suddenly a sort of fear hit me that first day when the afternoon was dark so early, and then winter came. And suddenly I had a sluggishness and a lethargy and a difficulty creating, producing that I had not experienced before. And I thought, what on earth is this? And then spring came and things improved unaccountably. And I thought, well, what was that fuss you were making about? It's not so bad. And that it was an experience I had three years in a row through my residency. And then I got to the National Institute of Mental Health where I was interested in looking into research into mood disorders and biological cycles, circadian rhythms. And so probably because of my own experience, I gravitated to a group that was studying these questions as well as the possible role of light 